I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about simplifying radical equations. So if I was given this problem, the square root of 147, m to the third, times n to the third, okay? Well, we need to do a prime factorization here. So 147, we can break down. So 147, I use my calculator here, 147 breaks down to be 7 times 21. And 21 is just 7 times 3, okay? Now, 147 means 7 times 21 and 21 is 7 times 3. We've broken down to all of our prime numbers, our prime factorization. m to the third is just m times m times m, and n to the third is just n times n times n, okay? So what I'm going to do now is circle my pairs. I have a pair of 7s right here. I have a pair of m's, one pair of m's, and I have a pair of n's. So what's left is a 3 times an m and an n. So when I, when I circle my pairs, I'm from the outside here, uh, outside of the square root, I have my 7 there. All right, so I have a pair of 7, represented by 1, 7 right here. A pair of m's represented by this 1m, and a pair of n's by that n, right there. Then on the inside of the square root, I'm left all the singles, the 3, times that single m that's right there, times this single n right there. And I like to give myself a little extra space. We can see it's like, you know, 7m times n. Maybe put a multiplication sign there to... Make it not look like it's just like a, know, a curse of m with all these stuff. Uh, depends on how close it is. Anyway, our final answer being 7mn times the square root of 3mn. So let's recap. We're given the square root of 147m to the third n to the third, and we needed to simplify it. So to do that, I prime factorized, I guess that's a word, the prime factorization of 147, which is 7 times 7 times 3, and m to the third be m times n times m, and n to the third be n times n times n. I have a lot of m and m's here. Come on, that joke had to happen. You knew that. All right, so 147, okay, we have, that broke down to be 7 times 3, uh, 7 times 3. I have a pair of 7s right there, 7 on the outside, 3 stand on the inside. A pair of m's, that first m was out here, and single m's on the inside. A pair of n's on the outside, single m on the inside of the square root. And so my final answer here, didn't have to do much more simplification after that, or any, which is 7mn times the square root of 3mn. 